Welcome to Reading Practice. Diet. What motivated you to start a diet and how did you begin the process? I decided to start a diet because I wanted to adopt a healthier lifestyle. The first step was understanding my eating habits. I began by gradually incorporating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into my meals, replacing less healthy options. Can you describe a typical day's meals and snacks on your diet? A typical day on my diet included a balanced breakfast with oats and fruit, a salad or lean protein for lunch, and a dinner that focused on vegetables and reasonable portion of lean meat. Snacks were often nuts, yogurt, or fresh produce. How did you handle cravings and stay committed to your diet goals? Managing cravings was challenging, but I found substitutes for my favorite snack, like opting for a piece of dark chocolate instead of sugary sweets. Staying committed involved reminding myself of the health benefits and visualizing the positive changes in my well-being. Did you incorporate any exercise into your diet plan and how did it impact your overall experience? Yes, exercise became an important part of my diet plan. I started with a simple activities like walking or jogging and gradually included more structured workouts. Exercise not only supported weight loss, but also boosted my energy levels and overall mood. Can you share some lessons or tips you learned from being on a diet? One important lesson was the significance of moderation. I realized that completely restricting certain foods was not sustainable, so I focused on portion control. Additionally, staying hydrated, getting enough sleep, and celebrating small victories were essential components of a successful diet journey. Painting and Drawing do you enjoy painting or drawing? Yes, I enjoy both painting and drawing. It's a creative way to express myself. What kind of subject do you like to paint or draw? I like drawing nature scenes and painting landscapes. How often do you practice painting or drawing? I try to practice a few times a week. It's a relaxing hobby for me. What materials do you use for painting and drawing? I use colored pencils, watercolors, and sketch pads for drawing, and acrylics for paintings. Have you ever taken an art class to improve your painting or drawing skills? No, I haven't taken a class but I watch online tutorials to learn new techniques. Do you prefer black and white sketches or colorful paintings? I like both, but sometimes I prefer colorful paintings to add vibrancy. How do you come up with ideas for your paintings or drawings? I get inspiration from nature, books, or even my imagination. Do you think anyone can learn to paint or draw? Yes, I believe with practice and patience, anyone can learn to paint or draw. Have you ever gifted a painting or drawing to someone? Yes, I once painted a landscape for my friend's birthday as a special gift. What emotions do you feel when you create art? Creating art makes me feel relaxed, happy, and fulfilled. It's a form of self-expression for me. Rules 
What are rules? Rules are guidelines or instructions that tell us what we should or shouldn't do. Why do we have rules in society? We have rules to ensure order, safety, and fairness in our communities. Can you give an example of a household rule? A common household rule is to clean up after yourself and keep things tidy. How do rules help us in school? Rules in school help create a positive and productive learning environment. What happens if we break a rule? If we break a rule, there may be consequences or punishments. Why is it important to follow traffic rules? Following traffic rules keeps everyone safe on the roads and prevents accidents. Do you think rules are necessary? Yes, rules are necessary to maintain order and ensure a smooth functioning of society. How do rules help us in sports? Rules in sports make the game fair and enjoyable for everyone playing. Can rules change over time? Yes, rules can change based on society's needs or new information. What's one rule you think is important to follow in daily life? I believe it's important to be respectful to others. It's a simple rule that makes a big difference. Health and well-being. What do you do to stay healthy, both physically and mentally? I prioritize my health by eating a balanced diet and staying physically active. Additionally, I practice mindfulness and meditation to maintain mental well-being. It's crucial to take care of both physical and mental health for a balanced life. Pollution and Environment What are the major environmental challenges facing the world today? Environmental challenges like air and water pollution, deforestation, and climate change are of global concern. They have severe consequences on the planet's health and can lead to more natural disasters and health problems. Travel and cultural experiences. What's a destination you dream of visiting and why? One destination I dream of visiting is Japan. I'm fascinated by its rich culture, history, and beautiful landscapes. Exploring ancient temples, trying traditional cuisine, and experiencing the unique blend of old and new in Japan will be a dream come true. Childhood memories. Can you share a special childhood memory that has had a lasting impact on you? One of my special childhood memories is my first day of school. I remember feeling excited and a little nervous. It had a lasting impact on me because it was the beginning of my educational journey and I made my first friends that day.